What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. And we live in some strange times, bro. I never thought I would see the day where WrestleMania is upon us. And it doesn't feel like WrestleMania. I never thought I would see the day where the go home show on Raw is at the Performance Center and there's nobody there. Not because people didn't want to be there because of the epidemic that we're dealing with right now. Think about that. WrestleMania is this weekend and it's going to be at the Performance Center with no crowd. That is insane. That's the times we live in right now. And I actually have been keeping up with Raw and SmackDown. A little bit not much mainly just watching clips on uh, YouTube just to see how things are playing out um, to be honest with you I will say the promo work for tonight was fantastic and actually some of the promo work over the past few weeks have been pretty damn good man it's crazy when you take out the crowd from the atmosphere and you just let these guys kind of be themselves and be more intimate with the feuds that they're involved in. It makes some great, great, compelling storytelling television, to be honest with you. This is some of the best promo work I've seen in the company in a very long time because it seems more personal with their feuds. Uh, tonight, um, we got to see taker but in a different aspect he kind of had his like american badass like vibe going on but it was different because with the american badass he was still the undertaker but he was he was you know just he had a switched up persona this seems more like mark mark calloway's actual persona like this seems more like this was Mark going against AJ Styles. He actually called out his real name. He actually called out AJ Styles' real name. He broke kayfabe. He called him Alan Jones. That was dope. I like that part of the promo. And that's why I said this, this doesn't seem like the dead man Undertaker is not that. It's not fully just the badass, American badass character. It's more like mark calloway this is mark calloway talking to alan jones i'm gonna beat your ass simple as that i love that i thought that was very entertaining this is honestly the best promo i've ever seen of the undertaker it's up there it's one of the best promos because it doesn't like i said he wasn't just on the American Badass gimmick. You know, like the American Badass gimmick, if you guys remember. He was just more, you know, just a badass, but he was still within character. This was more so, nah, I'm going to take this out the, I'm going to take this gimmick wrestling shit out of it. Even though he's still in character, I'm really going to hurt you, AJ Styles. And I want you to know that I'm not playing games with you. You mentioned my wife. Now it's personal. I'm going to beat your ass. Honestly, I wasn't excited for this feud. But once AJ Styles started really going into depth on why The Undertaker should have been retired. Like, it it was probably some of the best promo work from AJ Styles. And I think the crowd not being there kind of enhanced it. And with this segment alone, The Undertaker killed it, man. Like, this, that was... I like this gimmick. I like it's even though it's not a gimmick, it's more so him being himself. I like that, and I I hope we see more of that. It because the the Undertaker gimmick, the Dead Man gimmick, it's cool, but I think it's run its course for me personally. I want to see more of the guy, not like you know he doesn't break kayfabe or any sort, but like I want to see more of just his persona you know what i'm saying if he is to wrestle anymore i think he should you know put it down he's had an amazing career but i like this i like this persona it's not 100 percent american badass it's more so a combination of mark calloway's actual persona and just 
it, he comes off as a badass so people associate that with the american badass gimmick so that was dope i love that segment of course the edge stuff that promo gave me chills even with the crowd being there edge was giving five star promos in my opinion with the crowd not there it makes it so much more personal because he's looking in the camera he is so intense i love that i'm actually looking forward to that match i'm looking forward to surprisingly the undertaker match undertaker and aj style match randy orton edge match i'm looking forward to it um becky lynch Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler attacked Becky Lynch from behind. Brutal. Brutal. Nice, nice little attack. He, she uh, had her by like the legs and just slung her. Slung her. Just, I'm, I think that's the right Uh, She had her by the legs and just pretty much threw her against the announce table. It was brutal. I like that. Um, looking forward to that match, seeing where things go with that. And, um, the Brock Lesnar promo with uh, Paul Heyman in the ring is what it's more or less what you know of Paul Heyman promos and Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is going to be looking very stoic and looking like he wants to kill somebody in his comfortable shoes. And uh, Paul's just going to talk up, you know, a big game, sell the, sell the match. And Brock's just going to sit there and look like he wants to kill somebody. So um, more or less what I expected. Hopefully, Drew can overcome Brock because Brock doesn't need the belt. So, hopefully, he's able to overcome that. I've been hearing some rumors that uh, Roman Reigns won't be able to uh, participate. Well, supposedly, he won't be able to participate in this year's WrestleMania. Um, but they still have him advertised as, as if he is. So, I'm not sure. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on with that because... I have no idea, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on when it comes to The Fiend and John Cena. Because I haven't really been watching SmackDown as much. Uh, to be honest with you, I hadn't really been watching SmackDown before this coronavirus thing was going on. I hadn't really been watching it before then. Because I just, once The Fiend lost uh, to Goldberg, I literally lost interest in the SmackDown. I'm not lying. I'm dead ass. I literally lost all interest in SmackDown because that was one of the few things on SmackDown that I cared about. Don't give a damn. Not sure what's going on with that match. Comment down. Let comment down below. Let me know what's happening. I may check out what's happening. Uh, the the SmackDown Go Home Show this week. I'll try to check it out if you guys want me to. Um, but yeah, all in all, uh, just the promos alone was good enough for me i don't didn't really watch any of the matches because once again uh i feel like just these matches with no crowd it, it's so weird it's gonna be weird for wrestlemania and um i think the only reason why i'm willing to watch wrestlemania uh this year with no crowd compared to watching just a regular raw or even a go home raw with no crowd is the fact that it's wrestlemania these are big feuds that they've been building for a while and i want to see where these lead up to um and just honestly a regular raw where there's nobody there i'm just i'm not interested in it you know what i'm saying because it's funny how much the crowd makes a difference man you can definitely tell the crowd makes a difference when it comes to just a regular raw and then a uh, a pay-per-view uh you know scenario so that's why i haven't really been watching any of the matches but i did make sure i check out the promo see where the storyline was going if there was going to be anything enhancing the stories before we get into uh wrestlemania this weekend and apparently they're breaking it up i believe it's going to be saturday and sunday it's going to be a two-part situation uh from what i've heard that they actually recorded some of wrestlemania beforehand and this is why some of these promos work because they've actually got a chance most of this stuff is recorded in a day so they're able to really put some like editing to all their promos and you know make it a give it a, a more professional feel it's not as raw pun intended you know what i'm saying so um but overall just from promos alone this was a decent raw 
with what they what they're able to do with no crowd so I'm looking forward to the matches on the raw end of things for wrestlemania not so sure about smackdown i may check it out this weekend before wrestlemania but comment down below are you guys going to even check out wrestlemania this year and if you are what match are you most looking forward to checking out right now it's still going to be the edge and randy orton thing because they have been killing it promo wise when the crowd was there and when the crowd wasn't there it's like they turned up even more when the crowd wasn't there like you buy into every single thing edge is saying with so much passion so that's the one match i'm looking forward to the most i hope they're able to deliver i think it's gonna be awesome bro i feel like since there is no crowd there they can just go out they might as well just go all out put on an entertaining show as best as possible that way boys can be like hey wrestlemania was different this year but they put on a hell of a show with no crowd so hopefully wwe can pull it off but once again we're talking about wwe here so i wouldn't be surprised if they just butcher all these matches but i hope they don't i hope they make the right booking decisions once again wwe here but we'll see what happens but i appreciate y'all man uh being patient with me i know i was supposed to upload a video uh this weekend um kind of late to it been having some technical difficulties with my equipment and stuff like that but best believe there's upgrades coming to the channel soon so just be patient with me i'm gonna try to upload as much as possible over these next couple of weeks once i get more of my equipment upgraded and stuff like that but just wanted to get my thoughts on this monday night's raw go home show let me know if you're uh, gonna check out uh wrestlemania this year comment down below and i appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace <music>